Season two is winding down. There are two matches left. Time to wrap up our time with Young Reds. Welcome back, everyone, to episode 16 of Bottom to the Top. I'm Mr. Cellophane. We have two matches left. Just one point will secure our safety in the Challenger Pro League for one more year. But it is going to be the final two matches where we are in charge of Young Reds. They came to us, offered us a new contract. Our contract will be expiring at the end of June. We walked away from those negotiations. We did not sign a new deal, so the journey will continue. We just need to get past Royal Excelsior Virton on the road and SK Beveren at home. The two teams that surround us in the table. We are in ninth place on 33 points after our first 28 matches out of 30. We are five points from safety. Olympic Charleroi currently sitting in 14th place. We did beat them in the last match 2-1 to end our six-game skid. Can we end on a high note? Can we finish mid-table, which would exceed expectations because our board only thought that uh, we would maybe be best served trying to avoid relegation? One point will do that. And here's the team that's going to hopefully take us over the top. It will be Maybon and Goal. We're sticking with the 4 2 4. It's going to be a back four of Ben Hamed, Vandenbosch, Henry, and Corbini. El Mazad is out. He picked up a yellow card in the last match. He is suspended for this one. Arthur Vermeeren down from Royal Antwerp is going to be in the midfield along with Malik Keita. It's going to be Dieter and Peter Van Hees on the wings with a uh, front two of Gwendal de Halle. And Dario Cotillas Carpe, who scored a brace in the last match. He now has five goals on the season after it took a very long time for him to secure his first. Can we keep the good times rolling on the road? We haven't had the greatest amount of success away from home recently. In fact, it's been a long time since we have won away from the Lisp. But if we can do it... We can do it against R.E. Vertone, currently sitting behind us on the table. Zelta Varium have already been crowned champions with a point. O.H. Leuven, uh, they don't play right now. They play tomorrow. They will also gain automatic promotion into the Jupiler Pro League. We are just trying to maintain our position in the second tier of Belgium. And the first highlight of the match is going to be for us. De Halle playing it back for Vermeer. And ahead again, De Halle. Is he behind the defense? Kind of, sort of. In the middle, Katias Carpe will beat Martin. Sixth goal of the year. Third consecutive goal for Katias Carpe. And Young Reds take the 1-0 lead. That is absolutely what we wanted to see in this match. Three shots to two in favor of R.E. Virton in the first half. Just about 10 minutes left to go before halftime can we hold on i'm okay with very few highlights because right now the run of play has been going re Virton's way we have gotten very lucky only 41 percent possession in that first half only the two shots on goal the one on target but it counted dario katias carpe scoring in the 28th minute and that is where we are at the half it's young reds one re Virton nil so the question will remain can we Hang on to ninth place, which would be an absolutely wonderful thing as Martin sends it forward. Katias Carpe nodding it down, but Nigioni is going to take control, sending it ahead. Can't find his man. Chasing after it is Corbini, who just signed a new four-year deal with Royal Antwerp FC. Cleared away. Laverick, though, playing it ahead once again. Nangis finds Zemzemi. Pushing it forward, blocked his cross. Van Hees knocking it down ahead for Katias Carpe. The counterattack is on, throwing it forward. De Halle, will he catch up to it? He will. One on one with the goalkeeper. He beats him. And Gwendal De Halle, who has not scored in quite some time, picks up his. No, he doesn't. We thought that was going to be his 12th goal of the year, but De Halle was offsides. Virton in control, but Henry is going to nod it forward. De Halle, he's got Van Hees up that right wing side. Van Hees into the box, dropping it back for Malik Keita. 
Back for Van Hees, moves it past one man. He's got a clear shot, and it's going to hit the crossbar and go out. Goal kick. Now, I think that should be a corner kick when that happens because the post is their post, so technically they touched it last. Probably a losing battle. Nice through ball to Kamara. Sends it in the middle. Sander Van Eyck picking up his fifth goal of the season to tie things up at one. I mean, we do only need the points, so if we... If, if this game does end in a draw, it's still going to be considered a win for Young Reds on the road. Not the best defensive play. Is that Zant Van Den Bosch? I believe it is. It is. He kind of let Kamara get past him. Hmm. Not fantastic. Laverick heading it forward. Lescoy losing it to Katias Carpe up for Van Hees. Waiting for a little bit of help as he works around the defense. Ben Hamed carrying it up the left wing. Ben Hamed, a burst of speed in the box. Van Hees into the middle. Katias Carpe, and there's goal number seven. A brace on the knife for Dario Katias Carpe. His second consecutive game with a pair of goals, and Young Reds back up 2-1. Ben Hamed really made this play from the beginning. Into Van Hees. Van Hees off of the foot of a defense and right to Carpe. It's going to deflect off of the man in the back. Past Martins, Lotkovich, unable to stop that one and keep it from deflecting in. 72 minutes have been played, and here come Art Evirton again. Deon Media throwing it forward. Corbin, he can't get there. Van Eyck knocks it down, picks up his sixth of the year. Kamara down with an injury, uh, but Art Evirton once again able to equalize at two. <sighs> we take the lead. We lose it. Corbini unable to get his head on that one. Lescoy nods it down to Van Eyck, who pushes it past Maybon for his second goal. So a pair of braces, one on either side, as changes will be made. We've got some very tired legs on the pitch. Peter Van Hees will come off. Uh, Abderham Amal, not a ton of experience on that right side. He did play there in the last match, so we're going to bring him on. We'll leave Dieter Van Hees out there. Our strikers are doing very well so far. Uh, De Hale with an assist. Dieter Van Hees with an assist. A pair of goals for Dario Coutillas Carpe. Malik Keita, though, a bit gassed. Adam Zanon will come in, and Robbie Doms will replace Vermeer. And so a brand new midfield as... Hopefully, we can either hold on or add to our goal total. I mean, scoring two goals, actually getting some offense out of this team has been quite key. A pair of goals for Young Reds in each of the last two matches, but an awful turnover by Van Den Bosch. And Van Eyck has his hat trick. Some shouts of encouragement. Hopefully rally the troops as Karamoko is going to throw it in deep in his own zone. Doms heading it forward. Zanon's going to gain control, but Kalafi playing it ahead for Van Eyck. Here they come again. Astic near side for Leskoy. will drop it back for Slotkovic. Ngunyoni, Leskoy now, playing it forward. Intercepted, though, by Zanon, taking it to the sideline before he drops it back. For Henry, looking to start it ahead. Katias Carpe dropping for Zanon. Back for Katias Carpe in the middle. Ahead, looking for Van Hees. Doms with a shot. Van Hees is going to be taken down by Laverick. No call is made as Kloffy is going to send it forward. Van de Bosch will gain control. It's going to be a throw-in now for R.E. Virton. And Boyo losing it for De Hale. Ben Hamed back for Doms. Van den Bosch. Can he redeem himself? Zanon ahead for Gwendal de Hale. Looking for the through ball to Katias Carpe, but Slotkovic is going to intercept and play it back to his goalkeeper. We played just over 84 minutes. Young Reds really pushing, trying to get that goal back. Henry will nod it down. Zanon in the midfield. Intercepted, though, by Karamoko and Boyo. De Almedia with it. Through ball ahead for him, Boyo. I don't like the look of this. He's got Deon Media into the box, into the middle. Save made. Lescoy picking up the rebound. It's off the post. And Corbini will bring it up for Young Reds. Can we get on a more attacking mentality? We're going to go very attacking. We are going to take a look and see. Well, I mean, we've got everybody up front on attack. Let's get Katias Carpe. Uh, let's put him in that poacher role that he is so good at. And uh, we'll even send Doms on the attack. So we're going to have to change... 
Uh, we'll make him a Segundo Volante role. Send him forward. Ben Hamed on more of a support. Let's put these guys up at the wing back position. Uh, both Ben Hamed and Corbini. So we are really going all out as we try to get the one goal back that we need in order to secure promotion. Dender EH now currently sitting in 14th place. They are six points behind us. So we may do it either way. Aztec ahead for Mboyo. As we are trying to go forward to score the goal, we are leaving ourselves a bit uh, more exposed in the back fan. Ike with it. He's already on the hat trick. Lascoy dropping it for Khalifi. And Boyo in. And Ilumbe and Boyo with his second goal will put our Evier tone up 4-2 to two in the 91st minute. We've still got four left to play. So there is an opportunity for Young Reds to maybe get something back. But time is uh, definitely running out, and I don't think that they are going to answer the call. Is Ari Virtone again controlling at the edge of our third? Khalifi getting it back from Van Eyck. Lescoy in. Lescoy, save made by Mabon. That's going to go out behind for an Ari Virtone corner. Just under two minutes remaining to play. Can we get on the counterattack, please? Let's not give up a fifth goal. Pretty, pretty, please. Lescoy delivering the in-swinger. Maybon knocking it free. Doms is going to get there first. He doesn't really have the speed to uh, take it forward. Zanon with the attempt, but the highlight's going to end as we hit full time. The match is over. Arie Virton victorious for two. <sighs> Should we have been so down on our team in the team talk? Probably not. Uh, we currently are sitting in 11th place, four points, though, ahead of Olympic Charleroi. So even though we did not pick up the point that we needed, we have secured safety. One match left to climb the table and firmly entrench ourselves as a mid-table squad in our last match with Young Reds. And so we are set for our final match in charge. SK Beverin is in town. We are going to be in front of the home fans at the Lisp. And here is the squad we're going with. It's going to be Lamins back in goal with the back four of Nize, Henry, Elmazad, and Corbini. We lost uh, Vandenbosch to a injury after the last match. Doms and Zanon in the midfield with Peter Van Hees on the left wing side. Elias Tavsan on the right with Dehale and Katias Carpe. Katias Carpe has been red hot with five goals in his last three matches, including a brace in the last match week and a brace the week before. So we're going to move forward and hopefully we can get a win and end things on a high note with Young Reds. We have been incredibly inconsistent. It's been a very tough year. We really don't have anything to lose. We secured promotion after the last match. Or I'm sorry, we have secured safety. We are guaranteed to not be relegated. Uh, neither is SK Beverin currently sitting in 8th place. We are in 11th. Uh, make that. 12th as KV Mechelen uh, have taken a 1-0 lead over Club NXT, which has already been relegated along with Dender EH. Olympic Charleroi, not looking very good for them. It looks like they're going to be dropping back into the Ersta Klasse Amateurs, uh, which is where they came from last year. They were promoted up with us. And uh, Nize with the first highlight of the match, throwing it in long. Katias Carpe back for an uh, Nize Dehale, unfortunately, on the back post, unable to get over that header. He pops it over the crossbar. The first four shots of the match coming for Young Reds, but SK Beverin are on the attack. Klaassen ahead. Survey. Survey is in. Can he get blocked off? No, but the shot is going to be deflected out by Lamin, so it will be a corner kick for SK Beverin. Their chance on the set piece on the attack. Klaassen delivers it in. Henry tries to clear it out. Bruno Bispo with it, carrying it outside of the box. He's got players on his back. He is just going to send it all the way back to his goalkeeper. That was new. Never seen anything quite like that before. Patro Eisden on the wrong side of a 3-1 decision. So if Olympic Charleroi can pull away a victory, it'll be Patro Eisden, I believe, that goes down. Corbini stepping in front of that one. Heavy touch. Gaining control for Young Reds. Back for Al Mazad. 
across for Henry at the top of the circle on his 18-yard box. Doms has it, carrying it up the middle of the field, playing it towards Elias Tavson, ahead looking for Dehale, but Bruno Bispo is going to step in front of that pass. Before he plays it back to his goalkeeper, and it's in for an own goal? Can you believe that? Let's watch this again. Tavson making a bad pass. Bruno Bispo turns, fires it on his own goal. Blevick couldn't do anything about that. He finds top corner, and thanks to Bispo, Young Reds are up 1-0. to nil, But Anguili's going to send it forward, looking to get SK Beverin back in this match. Oh, my goodness gracious. Michelle in the box. Off of the crossbar. Henry clears it. Elias Thompson getting it back. Here come Young Reds the other way. Thompson carrying it up the near sideline. Waiting to get cut off. Two men on him. Survey knocking him down. The flag has been raised. It's going to be a free kick for Young Reds. We're going to play through the end of the first half. And it's Young Reds 1. SK Beverin nil on the own goal from Bruno Bispo. I hate to say that, but that's the Young Reds goal of the season. 62-year shots on goal. Young Reds enjoying 61% of the possession, completing 90% of their passes as well. We have played very well, uh, but thanks to Bruno Bispo, not any of our players. We are up by a score of 1-0 at the half. So the big question is, can we add on to it? Can we rely on SK Beverin to make another colossal mistake? Angi sending it forward, looking for Fella. Nizay will nod it down. Taking control in the midfield is Doms. Across for Elias Tavson, knocked away by Bruno Bispo. Fella has Koyalpu. Nizay is going to take him down. No call has been made, though. So Young Reds again in possession. Van Hees in the middle. Zanon pushing it forward to Dehale. Lelchic is going to step in front of that, but Corbini will regain control. The Doms over to Zanon. Ahead, Elias Tavzan into the box. In the middle, Katias Carpe will rocket the shot just wide. Great opportunity to pick up yet another goal. His sixth goal in four matches if he could have connected. But the first shot of the second half is going to sail wide. And Young Red still in control with a 1-0 lead. Looking to throw it in from the far side. Corbini backs up. Going long. He's got El Mazad in the box. Elias Tavzan. Trying to move it to his left. Get around him, and he does shoot on goal. But Leve laying out to his right, making a pretty easy save. Ten shots on goal to two in favor of Young Reds. Corbini again with a long throw in the 66th minute. Cleared away by Klaassen. Corbini gets it back, looking for Henry in the middle. Can't find him. Koopman chasing after it, but Nize will get there first. In the middle for Henry, being challenged, so he sends it over to El Mazad. Forward for Elias Thompson. Can he get the through ball to Dehale? He does. Dehale with a nice touch off of the crossbar and in. It's goal number 12 on the year for Gwendal Dehale. We thought he had one earlier on in the last match, his 12th, but finally connecting through. What a pass by Elias Thompson coming down from Royal Antwerp FC. Dehale shot deflecting off of the defenseman. Levick couldn't do anything about it. It's off of the crossbar and in, and Young Reds take a 2-0 lead and look to be cruising to victory in their final match of the season. Lamens will get it back way outside of his box. Henry to control, looking for his options up the field as he pushes it forward. Van Hees now along the near sideline will just drop it back for Henry. Doms finding Zanon moving forward. Elias Tavson into the box. Tavson scoring his fifth, and it's Young Reds three. SK Beverin nil. Less than 15 minutes left, and I think we are going to be cruising on to victory. Hoping to get some players in the match that maybe wouldn't have seen action, so Nolan Guillot comes in to replace Rob Nize at the left-back position. Gerard Van de Plas coming in to play striker, taking the place of Dario Cotillas Carpe, who just has not had the success in this match that he has in the last couple of weeks. And on the right wing, Milan Schmitz will come in and replace Elias Tavzan as we send the team out there to trust them to make an impact in the final 15 minutes or so of this match. Tavzan getting clapped off by the crowd after scoring that goal 
What a pass by Zanon to get it up for him. And Tabzon just rocketing it home. Ten minutes to go. The own goal by Bispo. The goal by Dehale. And, of course, Tabzon ending or adding the third as the corner kick is in. Not going to be able to find the target, though. Lamins does not need to make a save. Goal kick coming up for Young Reds. 13-3, to your shots on goal. We have dominated this second half although the momentum at the end is sk beverin looking to like make a late push uh is in their favor but it is going to end a three nil victory for young reds what a way to put an exclamation point on our time here two seasons in the books and three nil is your final score and with the win, we firmly finish mid-table in 10th place. 36 points out of 30 matches. Not nearly as well as we played last year. But good enough for a team that was predicted originally to finish in last place. Can't say the same for Olympic Charleroi. They're going to end up in 14th and get relegated back down along with Dender EH and Club NXT. Zolta Varigam, we already mentioned as champions, they're going to advance to the Jupiler Pro League along with OH Leuven. The playoffs are going to consist of Circle Bruges, Ustinda, Lommel SK coming on massively strong at the end, and Beershot able to hang on to seventh place. RSCA Futures, as we've talked about many, many times before as a U23 side, could not get promoted, so they are excluded from the playoff contention, even though they did manage to finish in fifth place. The big question we are now faced with is where are we going to end up next? Now, so we don't run into any issues when we're interviewing for jobs. We are not going to start applying for jobs while we are still technically employed. So we're going to allow our contract to run out before we start looking for a new gig. And as you can see, there are plenty of jobs available all across the globe. We're gonna to wanna to keep our journey going, hopefully make more money than we made uh, this last year, although we did get paid really, really well to be managing in Belgium. Hopefully we'll also finish off our national A license, which will just improve our credentials and our reputation, currently sitting on one and a half stars. Let's hope we can get that up to two. And we can parlay that into a nice job. But positions open in Argentina, Austria, Belgium, Brazil, Bulgaria, Croatia, Czech Republic, Denmark, England, France, Hungary, Italy, Latvia. You get the idea. Where will we end up next? Well, you're going to just have to find out. So next episode of Bottom to the Top, The Job Hunt is on thank you so very much for coming with us this far i hope you've enjoyed the last two seasons at young reds and hopefully things just get bigger brighter and better for us as we move on please hit the like button also be sure to subscribe turn on your notifications so you are alerted when the next bottom to the top episode hits youtube thank you for all of your support thus far i look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow let's see where we end up until then babar. bar